Hey guys, good morning and welcome into Monday morning. We're going to go through some news on the stock market. Oh my goodness, we have such an exciting week. We have NEO earnings coming out. We've got Coinbase, Virgin Galactic is out later today. There's so much to talk about. I want to get the news out to you about Tesla because Tesla is now seeing a 9% drop as markets are in the pre-market right now here on Monday morning. So I want to tell you guys what is going on and what we can expect to happen with the electrical vehicle stops over this week and what we are going to be looking for in those earnings calls to make sure that those shares are going to start to move upwards and we are going to capitalize as much as possible. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. My name is Jason. Be sure to go down there, smash that like button for me, and don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button. And welcome to this family of investors. If you would like access to any of my private bound then check out the link below to the private Patreon or if you would like to support the channel in any way. So guys, let's start first thing because it is Monday morning and we can see up on the screen that we have got PayPal reporting earnings and I have recently put out a buy for PayPal in the Patreon. So I will be watching that very, very closely. We've also got Smile in here as well. And we also have, of course, Virgin Galactic. You guys know that I absolutely love Virgin Galactic. So we were going to have to see what these earnings are going to be about after market close because I have now got a large position involved in that stock and I am looking to close that gap on the technicals but I will be looking to see how much cash they are burning through whether again I trim or add to my existing position. Now on Tuesday morning we've got Palantir and we know that Palantir is completely hyped up here on YouTube so if you would like me to do a full update deep dive into Palantir soon then be sure to let me know below in the comments and I will get that out as soon as I can find some time for you guys. We've got Coinbase which I'm going to be watching very closely that is another large portion of my portfolio right now which is up over 40 percent guys inside my portfolio we have been buying and buying and buying the dips on our patreon under 250 dollars per share and now coinbase is around 330 dollars so that is something that we're looking closely at and of course we have neo and i do want to go into some quick news on neo and i just want to quickly take you into this article right here can neo deliver in q3 amid investor expectations so what are we looking for on the neo earnings call guys there's so much to talk about with this fiscal year. Remember that NEO are up about 106% over the last year. They are looking for 1.46 billion in revenues. And again, last quarter we saw 1.3 billion. And if you compare this, like I said, from a year ago, it was about 0.6. So again, if you're looking at those revenues jumping up 100% year over year, we are looking at around $9 per share in loss versus the 11 cents from last quarter. And that was about 0.15 cents from a year ago. So we're continually looking for those improvements. Again, we have a lot of analyst expectations right now because there is a chip shortage. So this is really, really hurting the electrical vehicle market as a whole right now. There is a major major chip shortage around the world. I really don't think people realize how big this is. I went to get a car because I actually unfortunately wrote my car if I had an accident last week. So that's why I've not had time to get any videos out last week apart from one update because I've been looking for a new car and all the cars that I wanted to order guys would not come in if I was to order a new car until March next year because the chip shortage is that severe right now. It's taking about four to five months just to order a car. So that is something that you guys need to be aware of. But that being said guys, Neo have expanded now into Norway, into Europe. So we are gonna be looking to see at their cash position. How much cash are they burning through? What is their cash reserve and how much is this expansion costing them? Like any company, guys, if you are starting up anywhere in the world, you are going to burn through a ton of cash. You have to remember, guys, that with these global expansions, it is very, very expensive for any company, in fact, to move their headquarters somewhere else, open up a new factory. It's costing absolute millions, sometimes billions of pounds. And again, that is going to set them back. But again, that is short-term pain for long-term gain. You have to remember that once this development happens, this is going to be the start of a massive rollout plan over the next decade as we start to cut down those global emissions. We can even see here in England, we are talking about climate change almost every single day on BBC News right now and how that shift and the domination to electrical vehicles is coming into place. Neo, Tesla, Xpang and of course Lucid Motors are four of these stocks right now that are really set to prime forward because they are also working on autonomous technology and that again, some of those big players like Tesla are going to in fact be the number one player and continue to dominate with their artificial intelligence robots which we are going to see are going to be safer over time according to Kathy Wood to drive than of course human errors. So that is a key point that we are looking for as investors on the presentation guys 
And again, you have to remember, like I said, they are gonna be cutting down those costs over time, but that chip shortage is going to have an impact. And we did have some more analyst price targets that did come out, so if I share that with you guys, there was an analyst price target of you that raised their target from 60 to $70 a share right now with Neo as well. So again, if we can jump that up, that's about 80% increase in the share price over these next 12 months. And again, that is absolutely fantastic that we are getting and continuing to see these price targets from these top analysts with Dutch Bank and all of these other Goldman Sachs, 60 to $70. We will see that come into place eventually once Neo start to turn around. And remember, at the beginning of this year coming, we are going to have the ET7 rollout, which again is going to hopefully significantly improve those revenues. And according to Kathy Wood, right now they've just done a lot of research in China and they were expecting about 10% of electrical vehicles right now to be dominating the market. It is now about 20%. So that figure has doubled over the past 12 months. They were not expecting such a massive shift in change, but it has already begun, guys. This is the convergence of new technologies taking over and it's just a matter of time until these shares absolutely explode. And that is the best to my knowledge. If we come onto the charts, guys, we can also see that NEO has been in that range of consolidation for quite some time. And the longer, again, a stock is in a range of consolidation, again, the higher the breakout does go over time. So I'll be looking very closely at that earnings call that does happen on Tuesday morning. And I'm very, very excited to report those numbers back to you. If you would like me to drop a link below so that you can watch the earnings call, then let me know. And I will drop that down below in the comments because, again, I have that link ready there for you guys. So let's go back onto the news of Tesla before we go through any of the other earnings that we're going to be looking at for the week we can see that in the pre-market guys tesla is down you know to $1,155 per share so that has come down significantly and that is down to the fact that elon musk has proposed that he is potentially going to sell 10 percent of his tesla stock and that is due to the fact that he's put it on his twitter as unrealized tax gains for the avoidance of tax purposes now again you can actually vote on twitter on this whether you agree or whether you don't agree but so far people are agreeing I still think, irregardless of what people are voting, he is probably going to do that. Otherwise, he would not have said that. And that is, again, allowing that share price of Tesla to come back down. So we may see a little bit of weakness in the electrical vehicles over today and tomorrow, if that is the case. That is just a new opportunity, guys, to, in fact, capitalize on cheaper shares for the long term because we are going to get those shares at a cheaper price. Those business models have not changed and they are set to only grow and expand, like I had said, over this next decade. And again, if I say this in all my videos, right now we're producing anywhere between two and four million electrical vehicles per year. That number is expected to accelerate up to 30 million guys and even 40 million in about four to five years time. So we are just at the start of this process. So right now it's not too late to invest in these companies. Now Lucid Motors, again, is a stock that has jumped up significantly. And for the long term, I think Lucid is going to do very well. But the valuation right now, considering that they haven't really sold like many vehicles at all. You know, it's very, very hard for me to justify this share price. I will be looking for a calling down at some point, again, touching down onto those 21 EMA levels before I was in fact going to purchase any type of Lucid Motors stock. So those are our three electrical vehicle stocks right now that I'm watching very closely. x is also another stock that I'm watching very, very closely right now, guys. And we can see that we are at some top side of resistance, but this company are going to do extremely well. They manufacture their own cars unlike Neo that have the partnership with JAC so this company is going to be a lot more profitable in the long run and again if you look at BYD that is a stock is also doing extremely well out in China and that stock is actually held by ARK Invest. Now ARK Invest have sold out of almost every single position that they do hold in China right now as China is an emerging market guys and they are accelerating in the electrical vehicle dominance but Kathy Wood has been buying BYD. So it is worth having those two stocks on your radar, looking for those areas of weakness so that you can in fact use that time to invest in those stocks while they are low because over the long term, I believe that all of these stocks are going to do extremely well. Now the competition, again, like they are saying, is only a good thing because the more companies that start to produce these electrical vehicles, it's going to allow those sales to open up globally and it's only going to increase that convergence of these new technologies coming together with artificial intelligence and of course that autonomous taxi network. So back onto the earnings call, guys. We also have SoFi Technologies that is going to be 
reporting here on Wednesday as well. We have Open Door, another stock that I'm holding beyond meat. And of course, I think I saw somewhere that Tattooed Chef. We've also got Jivo, so some massive companies, guys. And then obviously the next day we have Paysafe on Thursday. So we have a lot of companies reporting earnings this week. This could really shift the market again into growth or not into growth, depending on how this quarter does. So I'm really excited to get this update out to you. Stay safe out there in the markets this week and look for those weaknesses in any of those business models so that you can start to really capitalize moving forward over the next decade because there's never been a better time to invest your money right now in a lot of these new technologies that are coming together only for the first time guys and they are really at the start of a massive shift in innovation and growth and I've been doing so much research over the last 12 months, especially in autonomous taxi networks, of course, DNA sequencing, which is what I really want to start specializing this channel towards. And there is a new stock that we are going to be buying over at the Patreon today that I'm going to be announcing for DNA sequencing, a stock that is really not talked about on YouTube at all. So I'm very excited to start getting some content out about a lot of those future growth stocks as well. So guys, if you are still with me, I just want to say a huge thank you. My name is Jason. Like I said, if you are not subscribed, please go down there and do me a huge favor and smash that like button for me. And also don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you guys on my channel soon for some more content on investing. If you would like me to do any technicals or any more updates, then let me know. I will also get out a full update on Alpine Force earnings because I know that that is lagging with my time right now and a lot of my patrons have been asking for that video so stay tuned if you are a patron and you have been looking for that earnings call I will be getting that video out very shortly this week so guys I look forward to seeing you soon in my next video ciao